Hey guys, Papa Flesh here, and today I am on the 7.3 PTR. I am on Argus. I've done some questing. It's pretty awesome so far. I like it um, substantially more than Broken Shore. It actually has like a structure and it has depth to it, and there's actual like story involvement that I felt that the Broken Shore was lacking. So I just picked like a relatively nice, somewhat diverse view of this first little zone that of the three zones that we get on Argus. But in this video. I'm really going to be talking about the tier 21 set bonuses as they have all for pretty much every class been leaked via data mining. Now these are not officially in the PTR build yet. I can't actually see the set bonuses in game. So I have a cool little, you know, pop-up thing that I'm going to do to show the bonus and we'll talk about it as well as I'm going to be showing off some of the new transmog like what our tier set looks like for all the different difficulties normal uh, raid finder, heroic, and mythic difficulties. It looks pretty badass, by the way. If you've seen the pictures, it looks even better in game. So let me actually make sure they're on the best shit. All right, so let's get down to it. Let me, boom, pop that up. All right, so the two set. Each cast of lava burst increases the damage of your next earth shock by zero percent, stacks up to zero times. The numbers are obviously placeholder. No, it's not a meme. I mean, it could be. Who knows? It's Blizzard. And the four set, Earthshock has a 0% chance to cause an elemental overload. So, my first thoughts of this uh, set, it, it's fairly similar to one of the set ideas that I was kind of brainstorming a couple weeks back. Obviously, they did not take one of those or, or use it. That They probably had this idea in mind for you know a month or two. But it is very similar to one of the ones that I was thinking of that I thought would be cool, like you're building stacks of one thing, except it was essentially like, I think it was the opposite. Mine was like uh, each cast of storm, each stormkeeper charge you consume increases the damage of your next lava burst by a bunch. It's just kind of, and it stacks up. But, so my first thoughts again, um, each cast of lava burst increases the damage of your next earth shock by who knows how much, maybe it's... Uh, Maybe it's 10%. Each cast of Lava Burst increases damage next to Earthshock by 10%. Stacks up to 5 times. So maybe you have a 50% boost. That's still a lot. I think that's really strong, actually. Um, maybe. I don't know. I'm just This is completely impromptu. I haven't done any math or anything. And then the fourth set, maybe it has a... I don't know. Maybe a 50% chance to cause an elemental overload. So one of the cool things about this are... Is the fact that it, it is more kind of a a little bit of a builder spender type thing uh the downsides of it is that i wouldn't really imagine it would change your gameplay or change your rotation in any meaningful way so it's just kind of you, you passively get it it's just going to happen that way it will make our shock naturally hit a lot harder already i think that you know using the current casino type build the gloves and boots that i have on here is going to make that really powerful, assuming they don't adjust legendaries to do something else. Um, it's Again, it's a purely single target uh, tier set. There's pretty much no AoE implica implications there. It's kind of the same as tier 20. But the thing is, I like it more than the tier 20, because the tier 20 is focused around like a pet flame shock type build. A lot of people had issues with it. it you know, it was fine for me, whatever. Now this tier set I think is definitely more along the lines of like a fantasy and it'll really make, hopefully with a new animation, an Earthshock uh, visual animation, it'll really make uh, Earthshock feel really awesome to use, especially since its damage will be buffed with the tier set and if it has some super cool badass animation, who knows. But I'm pretty excited for this, I, I like this idea as a whole, it just sucks that it doesn't really help you in any... Uh, AoE situation. Maybe a suggestion could be that it increases the damage of your next, you know, Earth Shock or Earthquake, and maybe make the Earthquake half the effectiveness as the Earth Shock would be, just to make sure it's not completely OP. So if I was saying it's a 10% per cast, stacking up to five times, maybe it's five percent. So your next Earthquake will deal like 25% more damage. It seems, and it actually seems really weak. 
maybe it'd be more than that for Earthquake. I don't know, but something that it gives it some sort of AoE benefit so that it's not just another tier set that has complete, like, no use on AoE and the only reason we'd use it over, you know, a tier 19 type situation is just because of the higher item level. But I understand that you can't have every single, um, every single tier set just be perfectly balanced for like an AOE and a single target situation. It, it just doesn't work that way. So we can't just expect it to be, you know, always the best of both worlds. Um, with that said, again, I like it. It'll feel good to have Earth Shocks. Uh, the Earth Shock overloading thing, that'll probably who knows it's i assume it's completely unrelated to your mastery chance it'll just be a straight up percentage on the tier set um an issue that this could bring up is more variance more rng in our single target if we're already running a casino spec that has substantial rng elements built into the like core uh like gameplay of this build if you're introducing even more like you know uh a chance to overload it's going to be all right well my earth shock when i didn't crit was you know if it's 150 maybe it's 150 or 1.5 million or something it's not that much but then what if it crits and it overloads and that crits then your crit's going to be like if it's a 50 percent boost maybe six million at the time maybe even seven million by the time we get this gear and then you have an overload that deals like however much 80 two percent of the damage or something 84 percent and then that'll also crit it's like the difference can literally be 10 million damage just for getting a crit chance combined with the uh percentage chance to elemental overload on your earth shock and that combined again with the casino build could bring up some issues um we'll see what happens we'll see if they adjust it or whatever but uh, that's my main concern already with a spec that currently on the live servers is fairly weak. I, I don't want to say like we're awful, but I I think we're kind of low again. I feel like in my mythic raid I struggle to keep up with the other classes, especially when there's any form of like heavy movement. Some others are just always consistently way ahead of me, even if I parse at a very high percentile. Um, so it's. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I, I do have faith. I think Blizzard will do the right thing and listen to any feedback that we have. But so far, I do want to hear you guys' feedback on this Tier 21 set bonus that we just had on screen. I'm going to take this off the screen because it's pretty ugly looking. All right. Yeah, get down there. All right. So let's move on to the second portion. This is going to be the look of some of the gear in the raid set. Um, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my little control clicky stuff here. So here's our helmet. It's pretty cool. It's a nice little helmet. It has like feathers and stuff. And I specifically uh, picked up the like troll Amani, uh, the hidden appearance, the one from the Dalaran sewers. Just to make sure it kind of like matches the theme. There's that. And I believe these are our shoulders for the set too. I think. Pretty sure, because the hunter shoulders are like a a naga look like. Let's see, none of the cloaks are working. Yeah, you know, legs, whatever. Same shoulder. All right, chest. This is the hunter chest. Just a chest has some little naga scales on it. All right, shaman set gloves. Honestly, kind of boring. They're just there. They exist. Um, there's a belt. I don't think that's ours. Actually, it is ours because it matches the shoulders. Let's see. It's random booties. Feet. Shaman set legs. Yep. Where's that chest? See, these are the uh, hunter gloves. They have the scales and little naga thing. Alright, here's our chest. So this is... I think there's actually a belt that's supposed to be for us. I don't know. No, that's the hunter one. I'm screwing everything up, guys. Don't hate me. Please. Please! Alright, so essentially this is like our set. I do really like the helmet. But if this, if these are actually our shoulders... Like this whole looks like the set matches that shaman set. 
it, it this color on raid finder just kind of doesn't match at all so let's check out the normal color real fast got a uh, brighter blue thingy there oops shoulders okay I see some of the colors match kind of like these little stone things on the helmet in front of these feathers where is the chest at? That's the main one I want to keep in mind. Portal Keeper. Set of gloves and the belt. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Again, none of the cloaks are working. The ones that are supposed to match the set are the current tier 20 set. So there's no real point in showing. Um, I think this is an awesome set. The only thing is that the helmet just, unless they change the color, it just feels out of place. Like if the the front of the mask and like the feathers kind of match the rest of the outfit, then it would look much better. But as of right now, it, it kind of doesn't really match. So let's check out the heroic. Let's see portal keeper's chest. That's pretty cool looking. Go down to the bottom here. See, this one matches much better. Like, the feathers on the top, I'm completely fine with being a different color. But this little, like, white stuff on the helm and everything, it matches the shoulders. It's really cool. I like this a lot. It's a, it's a pretty nice set. I think it's pretty high quality. The only issue is there's some belt clippage that's going on in the front there. That is actually a major issue. It's kind of annoying, but technology, am I right? Alright. Let's check out Mythic. Shit's cool, boys. Shit's cool. Uh, tch, 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 tch. This is just the wrong color. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So the helm on Mythic, guys. The helm on Mythic is fucking amazing. It looks completely badass. The problem is it clips into the shoulders on a Torin. I don't know if it will on other races. And the belt, the same one that I was using that matched the other sets, does not match color-wise. But it's pretty awesome, as you can see, this, it, maybe if they fix the clipping or whatever, it really matches the color of the hidden. It really, like, accentuates it and, like, really has, like, a troll theme type, almost a Throne of Thunder set. If you guys remember that set from back in Throne, um, it has kind of a similar-ish uh, theme to it. But I, I really do like this set as a whole. It's pretty awesome. I really like the helmet. I do like the shoulders. I think the gloves are pretty boring. If this is their final form, who knows? Uh, obviously, the belt does not match, but it's it's pretty badass. So let's check out real fast some other thingamajiggies. And for all extents and purposes, uh, this video is essentially over all the talking about the tier sets. I'm just going to kind of go through maybe some other classes and just look and see what kind of cool shit we got. So... Let's check out the Hunter then. Get the full Hunter set. Okay, like the helmet. Have like a little Naga helm, has a little skull on it. Pretty badass, honestly. And that's the shoulder for it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Matching chest. Where is that belt at? The other belt. So this this is pretty much the Naga set. I think I think it's pretty cool for hunters. I'm gonna be honest. I really like the shoulders, and I like the uh, the helm here. It's pretty cool. It's quite exciting, if you ask me. Actually, what if I did something like that? Class, let's check out Warrior. Okay. This is, that's Paladin. Oh yeah, this the Warrior shoulders, big and bulky. Ain't working though right now, tragically. Pretty... Pretty cool set. It's hard to tell with the unimplemented shoulders, though. 
Gloves there, chest. I want to check out the paladin. Doesn't have the full set on here, really, from the looks of it. Although maybe if I actually had paladin on here. Paladin. Okay. Yeah, you actually, I actually need to be on the class. So this is like the paladin set minus the gloves. Yeah, this is a really cool set, honestly. I'm going to be completely fucking honest. That is badass. Let's see if this one works. That kind of actually does match. I didn't have one of those for the shamans. That's a really cool set, I think. Let's see if there's a belt for it. it. Looks like this. Oh, that is a cool belt. This is a nice set, guys. I I would be happy to be a paladin here. I understand. I understand. You guys want the uh, Peralian set. I understand that. But let's be honest. This is this is a pretty good set, I'd say. I'm I'm happy with this one. I'm gonna be honest. It's quite nice. All right, let's check out the rogue. Rogy rogue. Whoopsies. All right. Not sure which is which. Oh, rogue set head. Okay, that is the rogue set head, boys. Leather shoulders. I assume those are the matching ones. Yeah, it looks like they are. Those are the other shoulders. Interesting. Gotta love that leather plate right there. LOL. Just kind of looking at some of the other things. Chest. Hands. Some some gloveys there. Does it have to look like belt? Okay, that belt is badass. Holy shit. Rogue panties. Rogue booties. Rogue cloak. That's a pretty cool rogue set. You got your like tool belt here full of like the belt buckle is a like a sideways skull. Got your little pouches for your whatever the fucks you would have on you. That's that's pretty nice, I'd say. It's not bad. Not bad guys. It's pretty good. Alright, let's check out El Priesty. We'll start at the helmet. Let's go. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, guys, alright. We good, alright. I like this. It's quite nice. Jesus. Man, I wish I was a priest. Holy good god. Oh my goodness, dude. <sighs> guys. I'm actually main swapping to a priest right now. This is really good. Like, I like the shaman one. If they kind of fix some of the clipping issues on the main pieces, man, for a Torin, but this actually looks amazing. Like, this is actually amazing. Wow. That is really cool looking to me. That is super badass. That is super badass. Alright. Checking out the Death Knights. Alright, head, shoulder back just hands belt that is a nice belt damn it all these belts are pretty fucking good let's be honest so death knight set cloak actually matches i think the cloak's actually boring though to be honest it's a pretty good set i think the belt is really cool um yeah i just think it the whole thing as a whole is really cool it's nice i really like all these sets actually so far Warrior one, to me the warrior one is the least impressive. Actually, I think the hunter one is a little... Like, if you compare it to the other classes, I think it's one of the weaker ones so far. But I do really like it at the same time. This is crazy. It's crazy, guys! Um, I guess that's the helmet from mages. Oh, those are some dope-ass shoulders. Let's check the cloak. Pretty good cloak. Chesty... Whoa there. The chest has the extra hooded thing on it. Pretty sure. Let me... Yeah. This chest has the extra hood. That's cool. Man, they're they're going ham, boys. They're going ham. Alright, let's see if they got a cool-ass belt. Another thing with their... You know, falling stuffs. So it's interesting. This, this mage set is actually not a robe. 
But it's a pretty dope looking mage set. Dude, that's cool right there. You got your little scrolls, almost like, almost look like a little mummified arm. Seems cool, seems cool. Warlock, please don't disappoint. Uh, let's see, so you would be right here. Okay, another helmet that kind of looks like that. Cool. Cool looking shoulders in my opinion. Back is... I actually think it's a it's a decent design, but it's just a boring color. It's a little too dark. This is mythic, guys. It's mythic. Chest, alright. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Let's see if they got a badass belt. They have a belt with some moderate clipping. A little bit, just right there. On a torn, at least. Um... Feetsies. Um... It's a cloth set with with metal spikes and shit. Uh, like, I don't know, it just... Yeah, it looks like a Warlock set, of course, but... And it, I think it does look pretty cool, but I don't know if it really matches. I don't know, it's interesting. It, it's This is one of my least favorite overall. I think the shoulders are really cool, though. Not a huge fan of the rest, to be completely honest, for my personal preference. Monk, who cares? No one plays Monk. I guess we'll look at it, though. I don't, I don't know. Alright, Monk set. That is a helmet. That is a helmet, alright. Okay. Alright. Sure. Let's see what the back looks like for monks. Got some interesting stuff over here for our monkeys here. This is the monk set chest. Okay. Get the monk hands. I assume. Now that was the rogue one. Okay, that's the one right there. Monk set legs and your little feetsies. Must be that. I, I don't know, whatever. Uh, that's a pretty cool set. It's very interesting shoulders. I assume it's like this on purpose. It's just the orbs and no actual shoulder. Or is, is there actually supposed to be shoulders? I don't know. It's very unique. It's interesting. But personally, I really like shoulders, and it just, it feels so bare just to not have shoulders. I don't hide my shoulders. That's my only complaint about this set, otherwise I think it's pretty unique and pretty cool overall. Alright, two more. This video can end. Yes. Helmet. Got a little, like, bear helmet or something. Right. Druid set shoulders. I like those shoulders. They're quite nice in my opinion. No. No. Alright, Druid Cloak? Yeah, it's a pretty good cloak, I'd say. Druid Chest. Looks like Druids are not getting a... Whatever the fuck. Okay, that's the Druid one. Yeah, Druids aren't getting a robe this time either, it looks like. Okay, so that's this one. Um, yeah, it's a cool set. I think it's a little underwhelming, personally. But, I mean, it's a good set. Eh, it's not bad. Could definitely be worse, but not one of those badass druid sets that we've been getting recently, in my opinion, at least. Alright, Demon Hunter, last one. Helm, I think, looks like shit. It's fine. Okay, those are the shoulders. Seems fine. Cloak, I think, is boring, honestly. Chest. And let's see what the belt is. Uh, is it supposed to be that long? Tiding your big dick. Big dick demon hunters. That is a long ass belt, man. Jesus. Yeah, let's see these booties here. Probably those ones. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's all right. I don't really care for this at all, actually. It's interesting. But yeah. Anyways, um, that is the end of this video. Can't wait to be an Argus. But yeah, like I was saying, it's. 
this zone, it feels more full and story driven and like it actually has, you know, solid content so far. The I've quested about 45 minutes on here. I am supposedly not even done with the first chapter of the story yet. I don't know how accurate that is from what I was reading, but I mean, this place so far is really cool. My issue with, um, yeah, yeah, trinkets, 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 whatever. My issue with Broken Shore is that in multiple aspects, it just felt like 2D, like two dimensional. Like in one, it's just, I felt like it was very flat. I didn't feel like there was much like actual physical depth to the zone. It felt like just like a one surface type thing. Yeah. Okay, loud noises, whatever, man. Leave me alone, loud noises. And it just, it all looked exactly the same to me. So far, we have this awesome, like, these skyboxes and shit that they have in the background. Where it's almost, like, painted and doesn't end, like, at a, you know, like, at a certain level. Like, a line of sight level of view. It'll just, like, the skybox will end and there's, like, nothing down below. It's kind of jarring. These skyboxes are really awesome. I hope they continue stuff like that in the future. Um... Yeah, and it just feels like there's it feel it does feel important here. It just feels like it's something unique and different that the Broken Shore just completely lacked. And this was a cool place that I went that I had to blow up rocks and then I go up into this little ship thing. Really reminded me of um there's something like this when you quest it in the Grand and Warlords of Draenor. When you'd go into the oh man. Uh when you go into Oshugun or whatever, and then you come out like at a side or whatever, and you're kind of like going through. Seemed like that to me. But yeah, this is pretty awesome so far. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I'm sorry that I've rambled on for 27 minutes now. Because uh, really only 10 minutes of it was related to Ellie Shamans. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about our tier set. Uh, because... If you guys think it's good, if the community generally thinks it's good, we can give that positive feedback. Maybe add a little bit of AoE benefit to it as well. Potentially using Earthquake could get a boost. We'll see. But let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. Pop a flesh out. See you later. Mini totems. I love y'all.